Hello everybody, welcome to the Olympus server. What am I doing? <laughs> so we're in the snapshots now. Of course there's like item frames problems with the snapshots. And we're still in um, 04B, but I've taken my item frames back down because in my single player world, when I upgraded again, they fell off yet again because <laughs> I think they fixed something again or refixed it. I'm not too sure. So yeah, to avoid that, I'm just going to go around and take off all my item frames that I've uh, bothered to put back up, which I believe are majority of them are on the sorters, like even all all these guys, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm going to take them all down. The maps I have copies of somewhere, I'm pretty sure, I hope. Uh, let's get some more food as we are starving to death. But today we're going to do I think a little bit of work here in the tower. So I want to, well, I guess continue with this, fortunately. At least I can just drop everything into the sorter. I have to, oh wow, getting some frame rates. The frame rates, oh, we're good. We're good again. I think my computer was doing something. So that's some bad news, guys. If you've been watching my Dishonored series, I just recorded like five-ish episodes, I think. Ooh, some random spikes here. Um, but I had unplugged my microphone, or my headset, recently, and replugged it back in. T and I guess I probably put it into a different USB spot than it was prior. And DX Tori did not recognize it as being the same device. Or perhaps I unplugged it when DX Tori was running. I'm not too sure what I did. But whatever the case, DX Tori defaulted to uh, the default recording and output devices on my computer, which are not the ones that I use for recording. So unfortunately, I recorded all those with no audio. Uh, no game sounds, no mic sounds, nothing. Nothing but air. Not even air, actually. Give me those back. Nothing, just nothing but video. <laughs> so that's a real downer. It's unfortunate, too, because it was a re I thought it was a good recording session. I was in a fairly l low pain state, so uh, I was able to be rather chipper. And, yeah, I had a good time playing and recording. But it's all gone. I, I mean, I got the footage, but it's pretty much unusable without audio. And if there was game sounds, at least maybe I could dub over it, although I don't like doing that either because it'd be hard to really capture the moment. So I'm not sure what to do about that, guys. I can try to go back and replay the parts that I already did. Uh, that I tried recording, or for that rig failed anyway. So the episodes I did, I can go back and. Wow, I'm getting some crazy frame droppage. I wonder if it's the item elevator. I wonder if it's th my sorters. <laughs> um, the new snapshots run a little better though. Um, I found. 05 is running better. Did those get sucked up, or where the hell did they go? <laughs> I didn't get the diamonds. That's what happened to them when they popped off during the update, too, I think. Because I do remember running up here, and I don't remember finding them. So I don't know if they just got instantly sucked up by the hoppers there. Possibly. But I got no diamonds. How about you? You're gone. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens with this one. This one's at 14. 15. Okay, yeah, it probably went into the... Looks like they went to the chests for this orientation. Whatever the case. Cool. But yeah, so yeah, I'm really sad about that. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I can do at this point, so I either abandon the series, which sucks, or I go back and record. I guess I don't know how much of the series is left. I imagine there's still quite a bit of game left, so... Oops, which one were you? Your diamonds. She's kind of running low on diamonds. I should go caving again. Or branching. Okay, yeah. Those two are just way too full. Ooh. The lag. It's awful. But I think it could be my computer. Alright. So with that gone, what I want to do actually is work on the sorter today. Or not the sorter. Well, yeah, the sorter, I guess. I want to work on the bottom. A bottom. Actually, let's sleep here in case I die, because I haven't... I think my spawn is set over at Mount Olympus area. Hi, cow. I heard you. I heard you. I hear everything. 
Now, is there any Olympus topics I want to talk about? We talked about last episode, working on Mount Olympus with a few of the other guys. Um, oh, should have started talking. Now I'm confused. Where am I going? Is there anything worthwhile up here? No. All right. Go down. See, so, yeah, I want to work in this spot. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I really need to talk about that I can remember. I'm sure there are. Okay, I want to remove this today, I think. Which is what I want to do. We want to gut it, rip it out, and restructure it. So if we do that, maybe we won't do that today. Let's see here. So if that's the case, basically what we're going to do is we're going to keep this the sweeper. And I think I talked about that before. We'll just have the hoppers spit it out directly into a stream of water or something and go directly up that. So the height, the bottom of this build will be um, probably where these hoppers are. Right there. I think that's needed. Maybe that block is needed too. Yeah, it looks like it. So that'll be the lowest point and everything else here, the sorting portion is going to get removed. So if we do that, we have to find a place to put all this. Redstone goes up top, so we don't have to worry about that. Glowstone goes... Nowhere. Glowstone goes here. So we could send that up to the glowstone chest just in my main storage. Or we could send it up. I think what I want to do is send these four ingredients here. Um, no. Yeah, these four ingredients here to our brewing area. Our brewing floor, the one that's not done, it's just dirt floor. We'll set up a few sorters there to pick up these ones. So that would be that. And then gunpowder, redstone already goes up, sticks already go up, so that would just leave gunpowder. Gunpowder, I want to set up an area where we can do some mass um, TNT. I still haven't done anything with the crack. It's the crack. Where we can do some uh, mass TNT construction. So I'm working on a design for my single player world. I may do a variant, a different design here um, using a vertical storage system. So, let's take a look. We haven't done any work in here recently. I did work in a stream, which is what you're seeing. Hi, guy. And yeah, some crummy lag. I wish we could update. But we don't want to update because there are some nasty bugs. There's a very bad dupe bug present in the game right now. If you just take, like, two tools and put them in the crafting grid, I think I could just pull this time and pick out... Um, continuously, and these would stay in here. I don't want to do. Uh, I wouldn't do it here, but I mean, it would do it in the next snapshot. So what I'm thinking, we have this drop zone, which I like, and I want to continue doing it up. So getting this cylindrical thing going, but maybe on this wall, it could be a flat wall, and it could have some sorters built into it. Now, let's see. Wherever, I guess this is the circle that I've got chiseled out. I'm not too sure. I think so. So we could either have a built into this wall, just right here in the center. Or we could have a sorter on each side, is kind of what I was thinking originally, with some lights going up the middle. And that would be an indication on how full things are. So we could put like redstone, glowstone, dust, uh, gunpowder, and I don't know what else we might want. Tons of, tons of sticks, I guess. The rest I don't really care about. We don't want to have infinite amount. So we could do that. So that would be like the four main drops. We could have them just be sitting here in chests. And then you have to come down here to get them. And that would give a purpose to this area. Not only to watch the witches drop, but also to get some of their drops. And then if this was for the TNT construction, what I'm thinking is if we could have... Hmm storage unit of about 64 droppers somehow then I could dispense them all out at once and give me 64 gunpowder in one click one redstone tick so that could be something but yeah I think before I remove this sorter I have to replace it with something else so that should be step one is hooking this up directly to this guy so that the drops just go up top but then we also have to set up some place for the gunpowder and everything to go. 
so let's look at setting up the sorters first for the and I'll do these off camera so it should go really relatively quick let's look at setting up the sorters for spider eyes potions so let's take a stack of each stack of sugar stack of bottles and then the glowstone so the glowstone I will want to go up to my potion room and then from there we could easily um, crafted into glowstone blocks or what have you and then our, our okay our, our gunpowder okay so for the gunpowder why don't we set it up I kinda like the idea of having them all around the drop zone but I don't know if we're gonna do that but I think putting one and I'm sorry for the choppy video guys Man, standing on this platform is like inventory clogger just keep getting stuff there you go but I think having the gunpowder here in the middle is a safe bet. I think whatever I do, I think I might want to see a visual indication of how much gunpowder I have in a vertical storage unit, which I think right here will be the way to do it. So I think once we get all those hooked up, we're going to need a lot of hoppers and all that. But let's get to it. Let's take the portal back up, and we'll go to the main room. And we'll grab some material. It's really hard to find things without, like, item frames. Alright, we'll grab some comparators. We'll need more than that. So I'll probably make another stack of comparators. Don't need lovers. Yeah, can't wait to put my item frames back up. Okay, redstone. Okay, we already have lots of hoppers. That's good. Just take them all. Then we need chests. Do we have chests? Oh, the frame rate is killing me. I'm so impressed with how smooth my single player world's running that this just feels terrible. Okay, so storage for the... Yeah, I'm going to need a lot of comparators. Okay. So we'll need a lot of lamps as well. Uh, maybe we'll do that. We'll grab 64 of them. I don't know if we have room for 64. If we don't, we'll do 32. And then that doubles out to 64. I'm so good at math. <laughs> oh. If we do the whole... If I want to put in a auto thing for the gunpowder. If I want to be able to like dispense it out a stack at a time. Then we'll need that kind of mechanic in the place. So I want to kind of build it in place just in case. Hoping we can, we can do it. Alright, so we need some regular stone, which I think is in here. One, two, three... And then we need three stacks of torches, I guess. Here, let's grab some of that and some sticks. That's not sticks. That's not sticks. Where's my sticks? Sticks. Sticks. And I need more sticks. But let's craft them. Hi, puppy. No shaky headies. The dog has a cone on his head. He's embarrassed. But he's chewed through his foot. <laughs> Not all the way through, but, you know, he gave himself a little wound. And needs to heal. And it doesn't heal if you keep chewing at it. Right? Right. But no, you do. You just keep chewing. Alright, so we've got our quartz. Quartz, torch, torch. And this is how you make a comparator, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we got a stack, we got a stack, we got that. Um, I probably want some torches to work with, so we'll grab some more sticks. Oh, wow, I got turned around. I thought I was over on the, the stick side. Okay, we got some torches. So down below, how do we get down below? Right here. Right here is where I'm thinking. So somewhere here, we're going to put a sorter. And I guess, since there's nothing on this side, why don't we put it over here? Since we got the stairs coming down. Um, yeah, stairs coming down that way. I was thinking, like, the center point here would be a good spot, but in order to do that, we'd have to split the stairs so the stairs go on either side and the sorter could be in the middle. But, why don't we just put it over here, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, we might move it when we redo this room. So, I'm just going to create a floor to work with. And then we got to think about how to connect it up. Another reason to have it on this side is that's where the hopper line is, or that's where it ends. Uh, let me up. So currently, I believe this is the end of the line. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
Aha, um, I need to empty this because it is overflowing with garbage. This is all stuff that does not sort that we're seeing. So, yeah, I got to do something about this because it's probably backed up to the point where it's preventing things from happening. Oh, it's not too bad. It's only backed up to right there. So there's about four hoppers that have stuff in them. And a lot of it is sticks, which tells me that all my storage for sticks is full. So now we have the overflow of sticks coming here. So that tells me I need to increase my stick storage, which is just right there. But there's also some on the furnace, because I use it for smelting. Um, we might hook up another furnace type in this build somewhere with 64 furnaces. And again, oh, I keep frame rate, man. Sorry, but it's very sporadic. It's very weird. It's like fine now, and then it'll just drop, and then it goes back up. But yeah, I want to do this uh, 64 furnace array that could just smelt items like instantly. Like, put a stack in, you get a stack out in the time it takes to cook one. Payment? Yeah, okay, so this was from Kral. He came and took bought a stack of obsidian from us, and he paid that amount, so I think that's fair. Thank you. Then unfortunately he died with it, so he didn't even get to, to make use of it. But that was for his shop. But we have a decent amount of obsidian from digging it out out there. Alright, so yeah... So that would be a perk of having it over here. It would mean less hopper line chaining it over to that side. However, um, orientation-wise, that's where the gunpowder needs to be as well. Is somewhere down there. So I guess not a big deal if I have to pipe it over that way, because I have to pipe it over that way anyway to get to that. So why don't we look at that? This will be a wall somewhere. Hmm... Well, I would like to have a wall here. Frames, come back to me. A wall there. I don't know what's happening. If it's my client, if it's my computer, if it's who knows what, but, or it could be this snapshot. I don't know. Because this was when my single player game was running really crappy too. <laughs> it was during the snapshot. All right. Um, I want to kind of get around this. Maybe we should pipe it to the back wall. That's kind of a pain. Pipe it that way, pipe it down, then pipe it all the way around. Hmm. Or we take it over top of this. We could bring it over here. And bring it over here and bring it down. That's a little less like going that way for no reason. Just pipe it over here and bring it down and around. We have to cross that guy, so... Okay, <laughs> let me go pipe something. Uh, I hate piping. I still like a lot of hoppers. I'm sure, I know it causes some CPU stuff happening when there's items moving. But it's only when it's sorting, so I don't think it's going to cause a problem. Alright, but we want to put these four items, right? So we need four spots. So one, two, I guess three, four. Center line. And... We have chests, so we'll put the chests off the ground. I'll have to get some trap chests. And I'm going to do my sorters that don't have an ability to lock, or like are unbreakable, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, do I need to do that? No, I don't need to do that. I go like that. But you've seen these guys, so I will... Well, maybe some of you haven't, but I'll show you guys when they're done. Okay, I've got the trap chests. So yeah, there's various sorters you can do. There's very basic ones which are really good, typically, but they do have some problems where they bleed over the redstone because they're right next to each other. But because they rely on signal strength, it's not normally a problem. However, when the unit gets completely full, it does become a problem. So I have this sorter, and it kind of came about with another YouTuber. I think it's Zaptrocity or something like that? Zaptro I, I can't remember his name. But I had made a sorter based on the old design, and then I put on an additional unit that made it kind of unbreakable. And then, but Zaptrosity had like a, he had a different way of, do, he thought about doing two different styles that don't interfere with each other. And he had it, he had two designs, but one I didn't really like the way it powered the hopper. It solved one problem, but it still had a problem of if it overflowed, you would get items that would just end up stuck in the hopper forever and would never drain unless you took them out yourself. So this version doesn't do that, and it does that by only powering this this hopper here 
and by having the hopper underneath it, even when this one's powered, this guy's able to suck stuff out of it. So you never have any stuff that gets stuck, and it doesn't. If it overflows, it's not a problem. The sorter won't break because um, it's only powering. It's only unlocking this hopper, and as soon as there's room available, then the stuff will drain down. So I like using this design, even though it's a little bulkier uh, than the the little tiny design that most people use. Um, I prefer this one just because it is unbreakable. And if you saw there how my sticks are overflowing. So if I didn't have this sorter, or a sorter capable of um, having overflow protection, uh, that sorter, when it overflowed full of sticks, would have broke all the other sorters around it, and then I just would have had a bunch of stuff draining in the wrong spots. So that's kind of why I like using these guys, because you never know when something might overflow. So I'd rather be safer than sorry. So this is one variant. So it takes the comparator signal, powers that block, you got two redstone dust here that go off to the side. Oops, that one's wrong. Two dust that go down the side, and then the repeater to the torch, to the repeater, to the hopper. And this amount of delay is like the maximum amount of delay I think you can have. If you have, like, another add another repeater or add a tick to that, then it, every time one item gets detected, it drains two. So this is like the maximum amount of delay you could have, I think, in the system. So the other one is very similar, um, or it relies basically on not interfering with the redstone here beside it. So we do that with a repeater there, a redstone dust there, a torch up there, so that torch powers that redstone dust. And then we simply bring redstone dust up here. So that comparator, two signal strength, doesn't interfere with this guy, doesn't merge with this stuff. We'll turn off that torch to power that, to power that, and then we simply need to move... Let's see, where is it? It's right behind there. Now that powers that. Okay, so we have one more repeater we put in, and we put redstone dust there, because that is powering that block. And then our repeater, and then there you go. So that's powering this guy. So he won't be able to pull anything out of this guy. So if we can go ahead and uh, start filling in these guys, and I think I want to do that many. So you can see they're not going anywhere because this guy's locked and this guy's pointing into nothing. And yeah, so now we just have to set up which one we want where. So let's put, let's see, let's put glowstone and sugar, and then we'll put spider eyes and the bottles over here. Okay, so we need, let's take two spiders, spider eye out. Let's take two of everything. We'll use those for the sorters. And you only need one item for the sorter, but sometimes I've noticed, especially on like multiplayer, um, you can have it where it can actually pull out two. Especially with my design where it's um, just on the borderline of having too much delay. So that's glowstone. So if I put two here, and then 17, and then one, 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 or just 20 items, 20 garbage items that won't normally come through your sorter. So I've renamed Spider Eyes to Hopper Eyes. And I'm mainly going over this, guys, because I know I do have some new viewers. So in case they are uh, are not or not familiar with sorting or how I've done things, this will kind of be a a refresher for those that do and insight to those who don't. I guess yeah, sure. <laughs> so then I got to do the other one. Sorters are done. I'm trying to get the pipeline here. I think I'm going about the wrong way. Maybe. Oh no, I can't go over the floor. I was hoping I could do go under the. F Maybe I can. No. I need to get past these hoppers. I could go around, which I might have to do. But I think if I could just go straight over that way with the hopper line, that would be best. So I started going that way. Then I was going to come this way. And I was like, okay, how do I get over that? So I either have to go under it by two blocks or over it by two blocks. So that's not a huge problem, I guess. So maybe I should just do it here. But I don't want to limit the height of the ceiling either. So if I do bring the next hopper line below this one, mm, I don't know. I don't like it. 
and then I could do the same thing there. I could redirect that one to go that way instead, and that would mean it wouldn't have to drop over that one, but it would still have to drop below this one. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. Either that or we go around this way, <laughs> where there is no there is no hopper thing, or we move this thing over on this side <laughs> so that I'm clear to cut over right here with the hopper line. So many choices. But I think what I want to do is find a way to get it out of here first. And I am struggling with frame rate right now. Oh, man. I hate you. I hate you, 14B. Oh, 4B. So, same problem here. I can't run a hopper line directly underneath this guy without siphoning stuff out of it. Right? And we don't want that. That means anything coming this way will instead probably... Yeah, I think it would get picked up by this hopper line going that way. So I would have to come down to where I have that one, and i running into issues there too, that it's pretty low. Like that would be the hopper line, which seems high. But if you look at this arch, right? This is where this arch is. This is where this arch is supposed to be compared to all the other ones. So I don't want, so likelihood, the the ceiling in here is probably going to be, oops, at least there, at least. And that is one higher, or is it one the same? Yeah, it's one higher than the hopper line would be, so we can't really bring it that way, unless I really start sloping down here, which we could do, like basically like that. That would have to be the ceiling, is what I'm marking out, if you're wondering. Like, I mean, this is going down anyway, so it's okay that it starts to arch down, but I just didn't want it to arch down at this point. So that could work, I guess. I could take it straight across there, which would be behind him, and then I could keep going to the wall and do what I was going to do, I guess. Okay, so I've got two ends, one there and one here. So I just got to connect them up, and we're done. Now, I could use water as well, which might have been a better idea. The thing with that is I have to spit... In order to get them back in the water, I have to spit them out into it. So, uh, hmm. Let's see. Let's put you there. And we'll go into the top of you. And around. And there we go. And then I just have one more to connect. So this is actually going to take over the overflow as well. So everything from that overflow chest is going to come over here. So before that happens, um, I might siphon that stuff out. Let's see. Yeah, as soon as I hook that up. So why don't I do that? And in fact, oh, uh, actually that's that's powered, so that's not going to pull anything out. Um, we could pull it out that way, and then I could help it along, because I don't want all this stuff getting going down the pipeline right away. So I might clean up my inventory, um, try to sort through some of that maybe or manually just move it into the other chest. And then we'll conclude today's episode. Okay, so that's now just got sticks in it. That's okay with me. Let's go ahead and hook this up. Give me a hoppers. Give me back my hoppers. Get rid of you, get rid of you. And instead we'll pop them that way. There we go. And then I'll have some extra sticks there that I can deal with in the future. Oh, sure lag. She lag. That's okay. Episode's over. I can deal with the lag later. Um, what are you? You're garbage. As are you. Okay. So now things should make their way over here. It's a little gross, but it's all going to be hidden eventually. But you see the hopper lines over there, goes around, <laughs> and then drops down, and then comes this way, and then drops down. So this should sort this stuff. And we can test it real quick. And then right now, currently overflow is set to this. But I will probably um, drop it down into the ground or somewhere. Because I also want to... Let's see here. we got to hook this up for the TNT as well, the gunpowder. So that's not done. So I'm thinking we could go just straight through the ground, though, to get into the next section. <laughs> And then from there, I think I might spit it out, at least. So maybe we'll do... Or we'll put some gunpowder here as well. 
a little tiny bit and then siphon off whatever doesn't go into there drops down below yeah let's do that so and then maybe we'll put some redstone here too who knows all right that's easy enough to change though now that everything's all the infrastructure's in place so we're pretty much ready to go um, for now let's put you and you this will be our new overflow but let's go try bringing up something right let's make sure it works let's throw down some potions or something we can just grab them out of here and just manually chuck them to go upstairs so future episode we'll rip this out or maybe i'll rip this out for the next one so we want to see if that'll make it up that'll make it up that and that <laughs> holy slimes oh wow well that's gonna affect the drop rates a bit i'll have to go down there and murder them murder them oh yeah look at that slimes everywhere all right so what we're gonna do this elevator over here goes all the way up. Whoops, I came up too high. So if I throw them in here, they should end up upstairs. And we'll throw some other random crap too. All that overflow stuff. TNT, flint and steel. That stuff should make it up there as well. Or to that chest right beside it. Okay, let's take you back up. Wee. 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 One more? No, we're here. All right, no more weeing. Ha ah. All right, it might take a little bit, but you can see items are on the way up. Oh, there's the TNT. All right, at least I threw them in with as stacks, so they'll get to the very top very quickly. And then once they get into the hopper line, it's going to take a little bit. But we should end up with junk over here. And more than 62 of these we should have another stack coming in. And if that works, excellent. And then, yeah, that'll kind of be set up for a little brewing area. So this will be brewing, so we might as well have brewing ingredients and stuff here. And auto brewers are going to go into these empty spaces around. At least that's the plan. Uh, I guess there'll be another item, another player elevator coming down in that corner, as well as... But maybe not that one, or that one. You'll have access up there, and then you'll drop all the way down. But there'll still be a shaft that we have to worry about in closing. How are we doing? Anything come yet? No. The other trick is to make sure I didn't run the hoppers across anything that got powered. So most of the dirt I don't think should have been powered. Unless there's a lamp nearby. Maybe I put a, a lever on a piece of dirt. But Otherwise it should make its way here. But it does take a little bit to get all the way through the system. That didn't work. I wanna... Whoa. Can we see it? I also might just have to trace this back and make sure that everything is hooked up and that I didn't miss another dropper somewhere. Ooh. Stop it, lag. God. Uh-huh. Like if one of these was powered or something. But he's not. I think things just didn't make it here yet. And there's no other yeah, hopper to take priority, so we're okay there. Did I just see... There's a lever there. Okay, we're okay. We're below it. Below the lever. Hmm. I might need to track it down, make sure this stuff's coming. Ah! Well, we know they went up the item elevator, so let's check everything out. Maybe I melted some more ice. I was paranoid about that. At least when they're in a hopper, they're in a hopper. If they're in a, in a water stream, they could still get taken out. Okay, good. I wonder if one of my sorters broke. It just sucked everything up. Gross. Okay. Hopper line, hopper line. Check all my sorters on the way. Good. 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 What are you? Nothing. Nothing at all. Sticks, how you doing? Sticks are good, they're overflowed. And yada yada yada. Yeah, so in this case, if there were other sorters beside this one with a where the redstone was connected, because he's now got 
a lot more items, he's going to output a signal greater than probably the two signal strength. And that's going to cause him to bleed into the other areas. It's never good to bleed. I don't know what happened. Everything looks like it's connected, so... It should have made it. It should have. And maybe it just hasn't yet. Oh yeah, here it comes. Wow, that's a long time. <laughs> that's like five minute transit from bottom of tower to top. Oh yeah, here it comes. Oh, there we go. There she be, it works. Just a little slow is all. But there, they're all incoming. All right, guys. Well, I think that'll be it for today. Hope that wasn't too boring for you. But we are planning out some more of the tower. So, yeah. Annihilate the thing below. Bring it up here. So now that that's in place, the next step will be... I have to bring this down to the gunpowder. So I'll probably do maybe get that ready for you guys for the next episode. And then I will wipe out the thing down below. So, yeah. Somewhere, I'm thinking at the... This level is where the storage will start. Um, I have to be careful with lighting it up, though. If I use indicator lights, I can't have them too close to the farm. So maybe I will base it off that, actually. I might figure out the exact distance it can be away and start the first indicator light there. But it will be also at this back here, I guess. So that's some more distance, too. So even if there's a light here, by the time it gets there, it's almost gone. So I'll make sure it doesn't reach... But yeah, I'll come through the floor. I guess I have to go around the witch farm. But yeah, I think I'm going to set up a storage for the gunpowder up there, and then I will put a little bit of overflow. Or like, oh, I'm just going to have that one chest, and then anything that doesn't fit in that one chest will come down here and automatically get maybe dispensed into a dispenser or dropped into a water stream that will bring them over here quicker than me having to waste another 40 hoppers to get it here. Woohoo! And then we rip that out. And then we make it circular too. So we gotta rip out the base of it, expand it a bit so it's bigger, so it covers more area. And then hook that up to that elevator to come up here. Whew! Alright, good stuff. Fun, fun, fun. Alright, guys, take it easy. Bye bye!